Hi, it's Susie here from Susie's Colouring Cottage. Welcome to my channel. I haven't been around for a while. Uh, some of you will know that I was taken into hospital on the 7th of March and I didn't come out until last week. So I wasn't around to make any videos. But in that time, I had ordered some items because I'd been saving up for quite a long time, a year exactly. And on the 8th of March last year, I stopped smoking. And I saved half of what I would have spent on cigarettes. And that's how I'm able to buy all these bits and pieces that I'm showing you here. So it's probably going to have to be over a couple of videos because there is so much stuff. I really need to thank my neighbour who took everything in while I was in hospital. And while we're talking and going through everything, I'll try and update you a little bit on how I'm feeling. And I'm resting well. I've been told I've got to rest for six weeks and I'm not allowed to drive for six weeks. I'm not allowed to fly for six months because they still haven't determined exactly the diagnosis, although the diagnosis that they have given me is heart failure. Now that can be different stages and until I have further tests they won't know what, but I got given a sack full of pills and I'm on insulin for diabetes and various other pills and potions so my lifestyle has got to change completely and I'm prepared to do it because I'm too young to not be around and there's one little lady who is the reason that I will do anything I possibly can and this is just to show you a little photograph of my granddaughter Emma who is turning three this Saturday and she's the reason why I will do anything now to have a good long healthy life. This photo was actually printed out on an item that I bought which hasn't got anything to do with colouring it's a photo printer a Canon selfie photo printer but I've wanted one for a long time because I want to start um, printing out all the photos I've got and memory keeping. Um, most of them are of Emma, um, some of them are of me. And so I did buy myself a photo printer as well, which is not colouring related. But that's my little doll in there. So now I've shown off my granddaughter, let me have a sip of coffee and we'll get on. I'm going to show you some of the little bits first because I just need to clear some space on my desk really. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you is this little M&R sharpener. I've been wanting to grab one of these for ages and always forget to put it in my cart when I check out. So I've now got one. I'm amazed at how heavy it is compared to other sharpeners that I've got uh, hand sharpeners like this anyway um, but yeah really pleased to have got that one for now what else did I get I also got myself some zest it pencil blend I've never used this sort of blend before I've only ever used the pencils so and and the wet ones in a pencil form and um, pen form sorry so I wanted to get a little bit of zest it and give it a try to go along with that, I got myself an absolute ton of these little paper blending stumps. And um, there's also some sandpaper blocks there that you can clean them off with as well. But they're varying size and everything, so I got some of those to try with it. Also, not really related to colouring, but... I just fell in love with these gold scissors from Kiki K. 
I just think they're gorgeous and I have held them and they really are quite comfortable. When I'd seen them, I thought, oh, I bet they're not going to be comfortable at all, but um, they actually are. They've got rubber here and I'm surprised how comfortable they are. So that's those. Next in my pile, I have got some individual pencils that I bought. I'm almost got the full set now of Prismacolors, um, but I did manage to get the buff titanium luminance, which Sammy raves about. So it's my first luminance pencil. I shall give it a try. That's that one. Don't roll off the desk, please. And then I've got grey green light in the Prismacolor. I've got Prussian Green. These are all ones that I didn't have yet. I've got Neon Yellow. I've got the Neon Pink. And I've got the Neon Orange. don't really see that I'll use them much, I don't know. But I wanted to complete the set. I've got the Cerulean Blue and the sap green light. And the only one that I'm now missing from my complete set of 150 is the, is a red one and I can't for the life of me, is it process red maybe? But they were out of stock on those. So I didn't get them, this, that one this time, but i would definitely be getting it next time. Next, I got some, a 10 pack of the little pencil holders when your pencils get too short. I haven't got any that are too short at the moment, but some are getting there. So I thought I'd get those in while, oops, sorry, jog you, while I could. I also got the six brush pack, water pack from Arteza. I've been told they're really good. I've got a friend who's an artist and she uses them and she thinks they're fantastic. So I thought, well, I'm trying out so many different brands. I might as well get these ones as well. So that's the Arteza water brush. Then I got the Caran Dash full blenders. Again, I'm trying out different ways of blending to see what I like and what I don't like. So I thought they'd be ideal to get. I've got some new little stencils to add to my collection so I've got this uh, six by six stencil from the crafters workshop and it's just words then I got this one which I think is is called um, mini sea bubbles again from the crafters workshop but I thought that would be a fun background to use on mermaid pictures and that sort of thing then I got uh, another 6x6 six six, and this is called Free Swirl and I thought that's just a nice pattern for the background. Those were all from Amazon, they're all Crafters Workshop. These ones are from Mike, Mike Deakin Art and that's MikeDeakinArt.com. I've got a couple of his stencils already but I wanted to order these ones because he had them in. So that's a diamond pattern. I don't know whether he's got the name of them on them. No, I don't think so, but that's a diamond pattern. That's a, another pattern. I don't know what it's called, but they're available on his website anyway. And then I got that one as well. So that's um, six stencils that I've got, accessories. I got some pastel fixative. I can't remember who recommended the Frisk one, but um, I got it. I'm, I'm quite happy with my um, hairspray, but I thought if I'm going to actually do pastel pictures, complete pictures, not just backgrounds, this might be a good idea to protect them in the book and everything. So that's that one. Next thing I got is the 12 colour set Atu Speaker 
um, glitter pens. So that's the, that's the 12 set and that's set A. And they were actually on special offer when I ordered them for £20 instead of £25. So um, they're, they're Copic brand. So that's, uh, that's those. Next, I got these second hand, but they're unused, is the Prima Art Philosophy Watercolour Confections Watercolour Pan Set called Decadent Pies. And that's all the colours that it has. And I've got a, a Prima set already, which I quite like. They're not your professional paints, obviously. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with them and they'd be ideal for colouring books. They come in these little tins, all different colours depending on what set you get. And that's the colours already swatched out. That was done by the person who sold them to me. And she's packaged it really well to protect them and everything. But that's the colours there so I'm looking forward to giving them a try they are quite shiny colours in these they, they're glimmery so they'd be nice to try out anyway and it was too good a bargain to, to miss out on really so that's that set okay I'm just going to have a couple of minutes break while I sort out the next items I want to look at and I will be back with you sooner than you can imagine. Okay, so I'm back and who can guess what I'm opening up next? <laughs> the reason I've got it in the box still and not taken them out is because I want you to see what I saw when I first opened it and I was like so excited, it was unbelievable. So, Here we have 48 glitter ink refills and 48 of the coloured gel pens, 24 glitter, 12 metallic and 12 neon. So all together we've got 72 glitter, 12 metallic and 12 neon with refills and they're by colour it as you can see. But this, oh wow, oh wow, 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 oh I hope you can see that. It's all glittery and it sparkles and it's lovely. And I just sort of went, oh, when I first opened it because it is just so pretty. So here we have all these gorgeous, gorgeous gel pens. This is all the glitter set, obviously. So they're all in there and they come in this lovely little case which is fantastic because as you know when you have to keep buying cases all the time it does get a bit expensive. And also in the box are the other gel pens in a non-glittery case. And I'll open these up so that you can see. All this goodness, all this lovely, lovely gel goodness. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing me swatch these out, please leave a message down below and I can organise that. That's no problem. But that's the two sets there, plus the refills. Plus you also get a colour list of what they're all called they do all have names and numbers on which is the main reason why I wanted to get this set because it drives me nuts when they don't have a name absolutely annoys me um whereas color it put on the name and the number and the name and the number is also on the refills as well so that is my gel pens Okay, now we're going into the colouring books. Now, as I say, all of these arrived 
before I got out of hospital so I didn't get to open them straight away except this one which is the Colouring Heaven Steampunk Special the latest one out and um, I just thought I'd show that I expect everybody's seen flip throughs by now I haven't even been through it this is the first time I'm seeing them I've been that good at resting and leaving things and not touching but yeah that's a steampunk one there okay the next one that came through is girls in a ancient asian fashion and i've seen people coloring out of this one and although i'm not keen on some of the cartoony looking pictures They'll be good for practicing faces anyway, and it's quite a pretty little book. So I'll probably pick out the more realistic ones of those, I think. Then another one which arrived is Marja's Mandalas by Marja Vandenberg. I ordered this and it's been sent from Holland. Um, it comes with a little card and she's written Dear Susie Enjoy Colouring Maja and it also comes with this little bookmark as well which I think is rather cute. Um, they're all single sided pages, it's very very thick quality paper, I don't know, maybe you can hear that. They're all single sided and they're all perforated. And I've always said that if I was going to get a mandala book, it would be this one. And now I've got it. But the quality of the paper is, is it makes it the price understandable. But the drawings are just gorgeous as well. And I'm going to have great fun. I think I might... Um, try some different mediums on this one, maybe even watercolour. So, yeah, Marja's Mandalas, and that's available on Etsy. I've got a couple of Christine's books. I've got Fabulous Flowers, which I think is her latest one. And I just wanted to collect all of them, really. But I thought, well, I might as well get this one, which is the latest one. And again, the beautiful artwork, it's just fantastic. And great to draw as well. Uh, great to colour. <laughs> great to draw. <laughs> Saying it like I'm, I'm the artist. Ha! Uh, great to colour. So I got fabulous flowers. And then I also got flowers and flyers because I've seen people working out of this book and I just really liked it. Um, I love birds and butterflies and all of that sort of thing. So this is going to be great fun to colour. And um, yeah, so two more to my collection. I will get them all, I promise, Christine. <laughs> the next one is Menuet Van Gluck. I'm not going to butcher the Dutch because I've got friends who are Dutch and they, they just laugh at me but it's by Kanoko Igusa this is the Dutch edition and if as I say with any of these books or anything if anyone wants to flip through please please let me know but the the drawings in these are just delightful they're cute and fun and different from what I normally colour, but I'm looking forward to, to giving it a try. So that's Menuet Van Gluck. And I also got, because you can't get one without the other, can you? Rhapsody in Het Boss. I don't know whether I said that right either. <laughs> so... I'll just do a quick flip through again just absolutely beautiful drawings really cute lots of cute little animals and things to draw there's even some christmas ones in this one so 
So yeah, so I've got those two. Are you bored yet? <laughs> this is going to take forever. Oh, I got um, Colin Thompson's colouring book. I've seen this coloured and I've wanted it for so long and I thought I'm going to bite the dust and go for it. So these are some of the pictures. They're quite detailed and busy but I think they're going to be great fun to colour. Totally different from anything that I've got really. But loads and loads of fun pictures. This this paper's actually quite thick as well. Although it's um the pictures are double sided, I might try ink tents in this one, I think. So yeah, that's Colin Thompson's colouring book. These aren't in any particular order, they're just as I've put them in a pile, basically. This is Whimsical Wonders, a grayscale colouring book for adults and all ages by Molly Harrison. I didn't have any Molly Harrison books, so I thought I would get something. And there's a couple in here that I want to start and finish before the end of the month so that they can go into some of the colour alongs that are going on. Um, but there's some really cute pictures in here. And I like grayscale. So we shall give it a try. So that's Whimsical Wonders. The next one I got, another Dev enabled book. It's a colouring book cafe, cabin life colouring book. I chose to get this one over the Jade Summer one simply because I don't like the black pages so much on the Jade Summer ones. But I think these would be fun to, to try. There's a lot of wood and animals and all sorts in here. So I think I think they'll be nice to have a go at. I've never done real scenery stuff, so that'll be fun. But yeah, that's a cheap little book. It was only $3.99, so worth it. Okay. Romantic Country, The Third Tale. The only reason I bought the third tale and not the first tale is because this was reduced. And I plan to buy them all at some point anyway. But I thought, well, let's just take the cheapest one first. Oops, sorry, joking you. Um, but I'm sure you've all seen flip throughs of this. But this is the third tale. And I love the paper. The paper's fantastic. Very good quality in these books. So I'm looking forward to having a go in there. That's Eerie's Romantic Country Third Tale. And next, another, I think this was a dev enabled one as well. This is The Magical World of Cricketbury Spi Sprites Colouring Book by Heather Valentine. There's over 50 pictures in this one, so they're all single sided. And paper, it's not bad, it's not bad. It's not really thin, but I say I don't normally like funny faces and things, but this one just made me laugh so much I thought you can't have enough laughter in your life, can you? Especially after what I've been through. So let's just get it and when I feel like cheering myself up, I can colour out of that one. So that's the magical world of cricket brie spite sprites colouring book by Heather Valentin. Another enabled book, but this one was enabled by Connie over in Holland and she was painting one of the pictures. I think she was, um, was she doing ink tents or watercolour? I can't remember. Pencils anyway, but she was doing that. And this one, I think it is called, of course it doesn't say on the cover at all, does it? But I think it's something like before we met or something like that but they're all pictures which we didn't realize till we were watching Connie's stream <laughs> they're all pictures about 
pregnancy, um, babies and everything, but they're all done with animals and it's really cute. This is a picture that Connie did on her channel and the bunny's, bunny's pregnant there, so, but yeah, I wish I could understand Korean, although some of them writing is actually in English, but I'd love to know what the pictures are, what the words say in Korean. Lovely Christmas one there. I don't think I'll ever need to buy any Christmas books because there's so many pictures in some of these books. But yeah. I will try and find out the exact um, translation. And I got this one from Etsy. So I ordered it with another book. I was absolutely amazed because the books came within a week. I mean, I ordered them on the Thursday that I went into hospital on the 7th and they were all here when I got home the following Friday. Yes, finally. All those that have it will understand how wonderful it was to open this and give it a stroke. <laughs> oh God, I've lost my mind as well as everything else. But yeah, I've got Anastasia, Ellie Calderavers, Mysteria. I am absolutely over the moon to have got this. It really, I, I don't know how long it would have been before I could have bought this if it hadn't have been for my start, start saving when I stopped smoking and putting the money away. And you'll be wondering how much money it was. It was round about £1,200, plus some. So I was really able to splash out and I'm happy about that. I am I wanted to buy something with it and not only have I managed to get colouring supplies and everything, but I got my photo printer, I got a digital radio um, I'm getting some headphones, so many different things I'm able to get because I stopped smoking. Of course, the irony of it is that the day I stopped smoking, a year later, I was in hospital with respiratory problems. And after tests and everything was diagnosed with heart failure, which is not the reason that I really wanted to stop smoking but there you go what can you do okay I'll be back in a moment you won't notice I've got okay. hey I'm gonna finish off doing some more books and then call this video done and do another video for all the other bits that I've got uh, the next one anamorphia posters there's 20 posters to color I'm sure you may have seen other people coloring these I've not got any of Kirby's books so I thought, and I don't really like the fact that they're double-sided. So I thought, well, these ones are going to suit me much better. Um, there wasn't any particular reason for getting anamorphia. Only that I needed to start somewhere and I like animals. So I thought, why not? But I'm definitely going to be using watercolour on these. So I'm looking forward to that massive as well it's an a3 size okay moving on more molly harrison the enchanted fairy grayscale book again absolutely beautiful i do like my fairies so i shall look forward to doing those that's the enchanted fairy a grayscale coloring book for adults by molly harrison Next is Mystical Autumn, a grayscale colouring book, 25 grayscale images to colour. And these are, these are quite cute. I'm not a big one for Halloween or anything, but I don't mind cute Halloween and things. I'm just not one for gory stuff. 
but that's a lovely book that's mystical autumn and that's by molly harrison as well we have tenderful enchantments my first clara macova book i decided to get this one over the fairy one just because i like the front cover better on this i think <laughs> no particular reason obviously um I see other people colouring and they're just gorgeous drawings, absolutely gorgeous. How can I not have fun colouring these? But yes, again, I'm thinking maybe ink tents in here, possibly watercolour because the pages are, are thick enough and prim primarily they're single-sided they just have the name plates and, and bits you can colour on the back but yeah excited to own that one that's tenderful enchantments another one that's not me at all but the more i see this it just makes me giggle and I've seen some houses with gnome gardens and things and they, they just crack me up. I don't know why. It's not something I would have myself, but they're just so cute. And so are the drawings in this book. Even though I've watched flip throughs and things of all of these books or most of them, I always see things that I... I'm surprised by, but pleasantly surprised usually. As I say, these these are just cute with all the different gnomes and what have you. So I'll, I'll have fun. I think it's important to have a few light-hearted books in your collection. Even if you don't normally do this sort of thing, you know, to sit down with a few pencils and colour all the gnomes in the book, you know. So that's... Um, Gnomes in the Neighbourhood, and it's by Denise Klett. Okay, so the last two books I'm going to show you in this video are ones that were sent to me by Connie for Happy Mail, which I'm just absolutely over the moon with, absolutely over the moon. She sent me... The Grayscale Colouring Book Light and Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer. She just said that she wasn't getting on with the grayscale but knew I liked it. So thought she'd send these to me. But yeah, I don't like the black. But I'm going to try markers. Mm, yeah, I'm going to be a marker girl for a while. And I'll use markers on these and see how that works out. So that was Light and Dark Fantasy and then this one I was really excited for because it's one on my wish list and has been for a long time and that's Selena Fenwick's Victorian Romance and I just cannot wait to colour these images. These ones I'll do with marker possibly and also pencil. So marker bases and then pencil. I think they're going to... Oh, the pictures are just stunning. Her artwork is amazing. So, yeah. So that's Happy Mail. And Connie, I just cannot thank you enough. I'm absolutely blown away by your generosity in sending these to me. And... Your lovely letter as well. It was so nice to receive that and open it when I got back out of hospital. So thank you so much for that. So I'm going to leave it here because although there are a few books that I haven't shown yet, I'll just add them on to the, the supplies that I've got so that you can see those. And I'll do that in another video. So for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Leave me a comment down below. Say hello, whatever. If you'd like to see a flip through of any of the books that you've seen, please get in touch. Tell me, tell me in the messages and I will do that for you. I am going to film the rest of this 
the second part of this video and it will go up after this one obviously why did I say that that's stupid anyway mind you knowing me <laughs> I'll probably end up putting part two up before part one but I'm going to say goodbye for now thanks for watching and I'll speak to you very soon bye